Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you very much for being here with me again in another session of the Ask the Expert today with a little bit of a change because my heritage just threw a curveball and released a new design on the MyHeritage search engine. My name is Daniel Horowitz, and I'm the genealogy expert at MyHeritage, lecturing virtually today and in conferences before, but around the world still. I'm dedicated to genealogy since 1986, being the teacher and study guide editor of the uh, project Searching for My Roots in Venezuela for 15 years, now in Israel, digitizing and transcribing projects, volunteering for the Israel Genealogy Research Association. Now, uh, important for everybody to know that you can ask your questions in the question panel and you can make any comment over there and I will uh, do my best to answer and keep an eye on that panel as well. Um, you can use it to ask questions and I will address them if not during by the end of the session. Now, this is the URL of the search engine, but as you should know, this as the experts are very uh, hands-on. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage because I wanna show you how to get there from MyHeritage website. And you can be at any page on MyHeritage and you only need to come here to the extreme right of the menu where the research word is and you can click over there and that will bring you also to the new search engine. What change every, here? Everything. Well, more or less, let's see. First, the form in order to search is up in the center of the page and you have all the fields right here. So let's start to write John and I would like to look for a John probably uh, with the right spelling, that will help. My heritage is asking me if I want the exact spelling. If I don't want it, I can use variations, I can match initials, or I can match the start with specific letters. Now, what about the last name? I'm gonna type Smith, and that will give me a gazillion of answers, but still, I can decide if I want to match it exactly or making more broader to other last names. <clears throat> the year of birth, well, if I know it, I should type it over there, but if I'm not sure, I can always put one, two, or five years more or less, and that will expand the spam of the research that we are doing. Now, if we don't know the year, but I do know the person was, let's say, 15 in 1980, I'm going to just click the icon of calculate, and I'm going to say, I know he was 15 in the year 1970, let's say. <clears throat> My heritage is going to automatically calculate and save me the troubles of being very bad in math to have an exact year. Now, the next part is the place, and my heritage is asking me for a place, but a place of what? Do we want my birthplace, my residence place, is my current place, where according to this balloon, and you have a balloon like that almost all over, you only need to look for them because they are kind of an Easter eggs, this is asking me for any place. So I'm gonna put Venezuela, which is the place where I was born. And here I will be able to say if I want that place to match, or I really don't care that match for that place. Now, this will be sufficient. And in fact, only the last name will be sufficient to, pre to perform a search. But you, same as I know, that the more you say, the better the results are going to be. So you have the option to add a father, and you know what? I'm gonna add just John, 
because this is John Sr. and my John is John Jr. And I have the same uh, options for first name and last name here. I can also add a mother, a spouse, or a death. Why a death? Because we have done some studies and realized that most of the people use the death because they know when and where all the people died. So you can use that with the exact day or just the year and a place and it will work. Now for you genealogists, same as I, this is not enough. That is why we always give you the option to add more events or more relatives or even keywords will may be very important to find the right person. Now you can see that you will have here the option to show results in other language. By now you should know more than good that MyHeritage is the only genealogy website out there supported in 42 languages and with a global name translation um, technology. Meaning that if I will be searching for anyone in English, let's say, my heritage is, may bring me results in Ukrainian or Greek or Hebrew or any other language. So I'm going to leave this up till now. And you know what? I don't want to even put John Fathers here. So right by putting the mouse over the name, I will see an X and I will be able to delete that detail from there and just do a clean search here. Now, the result page also change. We still have the collections on the left side of the screen, but on the right, you have a, a smaller card, so you have more results per page. The whole card, the whole area, it's clickable, so you don't need to specifically aim for the orange button at any time you click here and it will work. Another thing that you should see here is this little icon that right now looks like a document, but if I change the category as family trees, you will see how that icon change. And this will give you actually the uh, source of the record, it will be very clear if this is a record or if it is coming from a family tree. Now, why, what you didn't realize is a change that happened here on the bar of the edits. And I'm just going to take out a few things here and you can see that as soon as I change that, the uh, results are going to get, of course, bigger, and I'm going to see more categories or every category, actually. So I want you to, to uh, pay a good attention here on this line, because when I choose, uh, let's say, military, you will see that those buttons are changing. So now I have a birth, now I have military, now I have residence, Father and mother have disappeared because chances are that father and mother will not be mentioned on the military records. Of course, they are still here in the more button. You can uh, take it from here. Now, let me do one more filtering here in the collections because I want to go to schools and universities. And here again, it's going to change according to the category. There is no military, there is no parents, there is the publication title, the date, and the place. So that is how you can filter and work with the exact fields for that category. You see, no parents because it's going to be useless to uh, have parents' information in a yearbook. Now, let's go back. I want to start a new search and not really. I just want to uh, show you that now it's more clear 
the 14 categories that MyHeritage has for you. And you can also see the amount of records in all those categories. You will discover some very obscure and interesting categories that you probably didn't see before, didn't realize before. Another thing that it was very important for my heritage is to keep you up to date with everything that we are doing. So the third area on the bottom of the search page will take you or will show you the last four collections that my heritage has released. And as you can see, just a few days ago, we released the Wisconsin Death Index and also the Marriage Index and the Birth Index. But a few days before that, we had the Navy and Marine Corps Awards. Now, what happened with all the collections? What if I want to know which collections were released when? Well, for that, you have this link here, View All. This will take you to the same place that I love from the menu, the second option, the collection catalog. The difference is that by clicking that view all, you will get this already updated, uh, sorted, I'm sorry, by the last update and not by the number of records. So you can see here which collections have been updated and you can see that we are updating and uh, releasing new collections almost on a weekly basis. Even all collections like the Greece Electoral Roll, this great collection that MyHeritage helped digitizing and it's exclusive to MyHeritage. You have it there updated and now we all know that we keep updating and releasing new collections from all over the world. So uh, I hope that all this will really improve your uh, search and more important your results that my heritage will help you uh, really finding your relative uh, uh, with our search engine irene is asking for new jersey death index you know what irene i don't know but let's look for it very easy i will go to the catalog i then I can either go to birth or the marriage and death because you're asking for a death uh, certificate uh, or a death index. And yes, I could go to the death burial and cemetery collections. Still a lot of collections here. You're asking for specifically uh, New Jersey 1920. I can filter here in USA by a location, I can refine further. And all what I need to do is to look for New Jersey. Well, we have two, we're lucky. And yes, we do have the New Jersey death index from 1920 to 29 and then jump to 49 to 2017. And we have another batch from 1901 to 1903. So Irene, the answer to your question is yes, that is how you should look for your collection. Now, I can already tell you that we have not stopped here and all this is what you have seen. I can tell you that the algorithms and the technology behind the search engine was improved. So now you will see faster results and also very soon, we're going to make big announcements also, or maybe we will not announce, but we will improve and have more features here. For example, on the results page, we know you want to filter out all the family trees and we are working on such a button. So whenever you have all the results, you can say, I don't care for family trees, give me just the records and that will happen over there. Irene also was asking about a specific day of birth. And yes, Irene, you can do it here under the birth. You can say day, month, year, and put whatever the dates are you looking for. 
Cassandra is asking, which search characters and formatting works in MyHeritage? Well, uh, that is the beauty of this because any name will work. And let me prove you that. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to search for a coin in place Tel Aviv. And I'm going to filter that to death because I want actually to get all the uh, burials in Israel through billion graves. Um, and I'm actually looking for results in Hebrew. Um, and probably I should add the word, the, the name Moshe. Oh, although I had over there already, yes, uh, yes. So you see, I search in English, I got results in Hebrew. You know what? Let's do the other way around. Let me see if I can I can go into the uh, file here and I'm just going to copy and paste. And just to prove you that it doesn't matter in what language you search. And in this case, I'm going to take out the Tel Aviv and I'm going to get all the results with no problem. Let's go to all collections or I should click over there, England. But, okay, you see how my heritage is retransliterating. Uh, let's look for books and publications. And I'm sorry if I'm getting you all dizzy. Uh, you see, I search in another language. Any character is valid here. My heritage will know how to translate it and look for the name in English. And because I use a foreign language, is retranslating it. So I will know that this is the name that I was looking. Okay, uh, I think that is pretty much uh, all for now. I'm going to let you keep writing questions on the panel. In the meantime, let me go to the announcement because I have a lot of very good announcements. And I don't know if you heard already that my heritage is giving you free access, unlimited, to the photo enhancer and the my heritage in color for the whole month. You have up till September 10 to look for all those bad black and white and all pictures that you have from your relatives scan them digitize them upload them to my heritage and enhance them and place some colors so you can meet your relatives in another way this is our present to all of you as we know and understand that we need to stay home and we need to take care of ourselves. So why not taking advantage and doing a little bit of genealogy as you know, I always recommend. So August 11 till September 10, just going to your account in MyHeritage, uploading pictures and enjoining the enhancer and in color. As always, uh, we keep doing webinars with the legacy family tree webinars uh, and I'm putting all those links right there on the chat so you can copy and paste them and you can view previous webinars recorded over there without any problem. Uh, and we keep our Ask the Expert sessions. Uh, we have uh, in August uh, recording adoptive parents and this is a common question that we are receiving all over. But on the 27, I invite you all to participate in a pop quiz. Your answers are going to be recorded and we are going to have fun. I can guarantee you that. So make sure that you register at this URL for all the future as the experts 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays for now. And the My, My Heritage knowledge base is still available for you with new content every week, new recordings, new articles, and new 
how-to videos, downloadable resources as well, all under one roof, education.myheritage.com, free 24-7. Okay, so it's my time to say thank you again for being here. Sorry for all the inconvenience. If you are watching this live, I'm going to answer your questions right now. If you are watching this as a recording, thank you very much for choosing us. And if you have questions, you are more than welcome to go to our frequent asked questions under myheritage.com slash help. And I'm pretty sure you will find there all your answers. Now, Cassandra is asking, Williams with an asterisk or with a question marks. Uh, no, Cassandra, my heritage doesn't take wild characters. Uh, we will take in account William's son, even if you write William without the S or William with the S. Remember that we have not only the tr global translation technology, but also dictionaries and soundings. How do we enter non-English characters in the search is ask, uh, asking Karen. Well, Karen, what the trick I did was copying and pasting, but you can also use Google Translate if you don't have a keyboard on those characters or again, more simple than that, just use English. My heritage will translate and find you the right language. Do I recommend doing a general search or looking with a certain type of records? Is asking Irene. Irene, definitely I will start with the broader, wider search, the most general one that you can do. And then you can start playing with the filters and with the categories and close to what specific things and years you are looking for. Peter, where do the enhancer and color photos go? I can't find mine. Well, it's right there under your family tree tab. First of all, you have over here colorized photos. Here you have the enhanced photos. And more than that, in every photo that you upload, and I will show you that in a second. Uh, yes, got it and use it. Um, every photo that you upload, and let's take this one for example, even those that you uploaded before, you will have the enhance button right there and also the colorize right there with certain limitations. Definitely, this is a very small picture, but if your picture is uh, a more than 250, 256 pixels, it will work. Um, I want to find people who lived in Eagle Street in Detroit about 1950. I can't seem to get the proper research limit for that. Well, Kenneth, it's actually very easy. You go to the search engine. In the place, you type that address. and You type Detroit and the address. In the year, you type 1950 and you put a last name. And you know what? Let me see something. I'm gonna try to pull here uh, a copy paste thing. Let me see what happened if I do this and just do a search. Hey, figure it out. No, I really knew that. You don't even need a name. If you want to see everybody who lived in Eagle Street, Detroit in 1950, there you have it. You only need to search for it. Okay. Uh, how can I find a marriage in Mexico? I found the divorce in Scotland. Well, Terence, I will uh, look here for marriages and Mexico, although I am not confident that you will be able to find it on my heritage. Uh, probably you will need somebody to uh, actually going into Mexico and find it over there. Uh, Sandra is asking, what is import JetCom? Right here, she saw that on the menu. 
uh, Sandra, JETCOM is a way to move family trees from one place to the other. So you should be able to export your family tree from another place if you have a tree in another place and import it or bring it to my heritage right here in import jetcom we will ask you for that file in your computer and then upload it right there uh maria is looking forward to the 20th century as uh, she is an adoptee uh well uh for you maria uh unfortunately is just um dna right to be able to find your uh relatives over there or maybe what you are looking for is uh the time that the adoption uh oh 20 of august okay uh so what that is when the uh adoption records open i guess is what you're trying to tell us yes you see i knew it so good luck and please keep me keep me posted i would love to know about your success um alejandro muchas gracias what suggestion do you have to sort through community errors people matching incorrectly or even looping well, the only thing I can tell you is just to uh, ignore those people. Let me see if I have some matches here. Um, you see, when you go into the match of a person and either this match is incorrect, you can click on the X in the corner and that will allow you to reject the match. Or you can go to more options and say, you know what? this person is a mess i don't want to know about it just ignore this person and that is the best suggestion that i can give you okay um i don't see more questions in the panel uh hey, <laughs> okay uh yes uh, coming from maria uh maria maybe we should do like an ask the expert with you and you tell us all about your uh, discoveries over there. Think about it and let me know. In the meantime, um, again, thank you very much for being here today. I hope that I uh, just open your appetite to do some search in the uh, records, in the search engine during this weekend. In the meantime, please take very good care of yourself and your family and take advantage of this extra time to do a little bit more of genealogy. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend.